And here in Berlin, thousands of people gathered in solidarity with Israel at the Brandenburg Gate on Sunday. Among them were relatives of hostages taken by Hamas during its terror attacks two weeks ago. Meanwhile, several protesters were arrested at pro-Palestinian at a pro-Palestinian march, which authorities had banned for security reasons. Coming together in grief, disbelief and resolve. In the heart of Germany's capital, thousands of people from the Jewish and wider communities taking a stand against terror and hatred. It was here in Berlin where one of history's darkest chapters, the Holocaust, was orchestrated. Hamas's terror attacks on October 7 in Israel were the deadliest against Jews since then, something many are struggling to come to terms with. I think it's important here in the land of the perpetrators to show what side we're on. I'm very sad about what's happening. Being here is one thing I can do. Apart from that, I feel quite helpless. I'm sending a very clear sign of my solidarity with Israel. A sentiment strongly echoed by Germany's president, Frank-Walter Steinmeier. We say to our friends in Israel and to all Jews, you are not alone. We stand by your side in these terrible hours. Your pain is our pain. Protecting Jewish life is something Germany's government says it has a special responsibility to do. Figures show incidents of anti-Semitism have risen since the Hamas attacks. While this demonstration here has gone ahead peacefully, local authorities across Germany have banned many pro-Palestinian demonstrations from taking place at all over fears of incitement to anti-Semitic violence. Nearby, police clash with protesters at an unauthorised pro-Palestinian demonstration, something seen repeatedly in Berlin in recent days. But the bans have led to fierce criticism, many accusing German authorities of censorship and political repression. Some pro-Palestinian demonstrations have gone ahead without incident. As did the Israel Solidarity Rally in Berlin. Here, relatives of hostages taken by Hamas pleaded for their safe return and asked those gathered to pass on one special message. Today is my sister's birthday. Please join me in the simplest song, a happy birthday song, a strong, loud voice of my beloved sister. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alden. Happy birthday to you. Let's get across to DW political correspondent Emily Gordine. Emily, um, emotional scenes we just saw there at the Brandenburg Gate. Can you tell us a little bit more about German President Steinmeier's message and who you think he was trying to reach with it? Yes, I mean, as we saw in this report, um, people came out really to protest anti-Semitism um, as well as show their solidarity with um, Israel and the Jewish people. And Frank-Walter Steinmeier's message was basically echoing exactly that. Um, and he said to people um, at the demonstration that protecting and safeguarding Jewish life in Germany isn't just the job of the police and security personnel, it is also the responsibility of ordinary citizens. And it was a call to speak up in um, the face of anti-Semitism to take action. Um, and that was also, I mean, we heard in the report that um, the, 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 the protesters there very much, um, you know, this echoed with them. So I think he's, of course, he's not just speaking to the protesters, but he's also speaking to Germany as a whole with its historic responsibility, having caused the Holocaust. Um, so, I mean, of course, um, Germany has to uh, has to react to the rise in anti-Semitism now in the face of, of this conflict. Um, at the protest, I mean, we also saw relatives of um, hostages that were taken by the terrorist organization Hamas. And, um, and one of them, she also said in her speech that um, 85 years ago, her grandmother had escaped from Germany. And now she was here in Germany asking for help. 
And I think um, that speaks to a lot of Germans and it speaks to the responsibility, but also the expectations that um, Jewish people have of Germany. Yes, indeed, there have in the last couple of weeks been a disturbing number of anti-Semitic attacks in Germany. Um, also this weekend, authorities in Germany have banned several pro-Palestinian rallies. Can you tell us how they have justified that uh, considering rights to protest and uh, freedom of speech? Well, I mean, we spoke with um, police um, spokespeople last week and they told us that a lot of the times they just draw on their own experience. They say that um, in the past, pro-Palestinian rallies have led to anti-Semitic um, hate speech. They have also led to violence in some regards. Um, but of course, that um, doesn't justify a blanket ban. We also spoke with lawyers here in Berlin and they say that of course, on the basis of, um, you know, protecting um, sort of the, the inner, 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 inner security, you can, in fact, ban protests. But, um, but to ban all protests or the majority of protests um, is unlikely to be, to be, to be justified um, by, by that argument. And, um, I mean, we've heard from rights groups that they will take legal action against these blanket bans. And of course, they have also led to a lot of frustration among the Palestinian community. Germany is home to one of the largest Palestinian diasporas in Europe, if not the largest diaspora. And um, a lot of them, you know, will have had families in Gaza, have friends there. And they also want this right to, 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 to sh you know, show their solidarity with them and to say, hey, here are innocent civilians that are being killed. And we need to, we also want to be able to go on the streets and, and show our concern and for our loved ones. Um, yes. Coming back to the protests now, the police say they are now assessing, well, they are assessing these protests on a case-by-case -case matter. So um, we are likely, I mean, we saw a protest on Saturday that went largely without any incident. So I think Berlin's trying to find a middle, middle ground here. Right. Thank you very much for that. That is DW's Emily Gordine in Berlin.